Good morning, everyone. We are the group one, and we will discuss to you the introduction of production and operation management. So first of all, my name is Brinia Branica Jr., and I'll be your first representative for today. So we have here the production management and the operation management. To begin with, production management is actually consists of various people's where they are the one who provides the raw materials, or in short, they are the, man they are the manufacturers. And we have here the operation management. Also on this management, it consists of various peoples in which they are they help to provide service or they help um, to give life to the product. And also talking about production and operation management, it actually um, combines and transforms various resources used in the production operation subsystem of the organization and the value added product in a controlled manner as per the policies of the organization. And we have here the organization management topics. It is the scheduling, aggregate planning, inventory, forecasting, strategy, quality, quality tools, and the flows and waiting lines. Talking about scheduling, this is where we plan the time and date. And for the aggregate planning, this is where um, this is where we ensure that there will be no, I mean, there will be uninterrupted uh, production at the facility or simply means that we plan for which or what materials do we really need the most? Do we really need the most for, for us to minimize the costs? And we have here the inventory. For the inventory, this is for the stocks or the list of the items. And for the forecasting, this is actually a technique to determine how we allocate the budget of the business or directly plan for the um, anticipated expenses. And we have here the strategy, the quality, which is also already understandable, which we, re we should really plan for the strategy for the business to, um, to be successful. This is where on, on how we can provide quality service to the um, to the customer. This is where we can um, achieve the preferences of the customer. And we have also here the quality. Same with the strategy. We should really need to um, satisfy the preferences of the customer for them to buy our product and for us to provide service to them. And we have here also the quality tools. For instance, we have here the checklist, the fishbone diagram, the histogram, the Pareto chart, the control chart, a scare diagram, and the stratification. And we have here, lastly, the flows and waiting lines. Flows and waiting lines. So this is the Q. The Q, the Q, U, E, Q, um, U, E. So here on this eight um, operation management topics, we really need this. Um, this it is because this is what we need to run a business. This is what we need to make profit, to provide service to the customers, to, um, to satisfy what they want. And we have um, here, to, we have here the operations management table, which we have here the value proposition. When talking about value proposition, it is a promise of value to be delivered, communicated, and acknowledged. We have here the operation strategy, and also the operation priorities, which is the cost, the quality, the delivery, flexibility, innovation, and the service. And um, we also have here the system design. When talking about system design, it is to provide sufficient detailed data and information about system and, and its elements. And um, it's um, here it unders the product and the service, the design, the process selection, the TQM, facility location, facility layout, and the JIT. And we have also here the planning and control, which unders, uh, here it unders the aggregate planning, the inventory system, the project management, the scheduling, MRP, a statistical process control. And lastly, we have here the differences between the production management and the operation management. When talking about production management, it involves manufacturing of tangible products. And also, it is used in a narrow sense. It is applied to manufacturing organizations such as industry, and it will have closing stock at the end of an accounting year. And lastly, it demands, the demands for the product is regular. 
Okay? And um, lastly, we have here the operation. So talking about the operation, it involves rendering of kind of services such as electricity, cooking gas, and etc. So this is really understandable already. So I will not explain it to you anymore. And also it is used in a broad sense. And it is applied to non-manufacturing organizations such as bank, insurance, agriculture, transportation, warehousing, and etc. And there is nothing like closing stocks. And the demand for services fluctuate time to time. So it means it rises and falls. So once again, when we talk about production, this is more about the manufacturer side. And for the operation, this is where for the, um, the one who provides the services or the workers. And lastly, um, it seems that um, this is for the other reporters already. So um, that's all for to me today. Have a nice day and stay safe always. Goodbye. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Melody Joy Amalato, and I'll be discussing about evolution of production and operations management and product concept. For over two centuries, operation and production management has been recognized as an important factor in country's economic growth. The traditional view of manufacturing and management began in the 18th century when this man, Adam Smith, recognized the economic ben benefits of a specialization of labor. He recommended breaking of jobs down into subtasks and recognizes workers as a speci specialized tasks in which they would become highly skilled and efficient. In the early 20th century, F. W. Taylor implemented Smith's theory and scientific management. From then until 1930, Many te techniques were developed prevailing the traditional view. Next, we have the historical, the list of historical summary of operational management. First, we have 1776. We have specialization of labor in manufacturing by Adam Smith. In 1799, we have inter interchangeable parts cause accounting by Ally Whitney. Next, 1832, we have division of labor and skills by skills, assignment of jobs by skills, by skill, basic time of time study by Charles Babbage. In 1900, scientific management, time study, and work study developed, and dividing planning and doing of work by Frederick W. Taylor. In the same year, we have a motion of study of jobs by Frank Gilbert. In 1901, we have scheduling techniques for employees, machines, jobs in manufacturing by Henry L. Gaunt. 1915, we have economic lot sizes of inventory control by F. W. Harris. In 1927, we have human relations, the Hawthorne studies by Alton Mayo. In 1931, we have statistical inference applied to product quality and quality control charge by W. A. Schoenwart. In 1935, we have st statistical sampling applied to quality control and inspection sampling plans by H. F. Dodge and H. G. Romine. In 1940, we have operations research application in World War II by P. M. Blocker and others. In 1946, we have Digital Computers by John Muckley and J.P. Uckert. In 1947, we have Linear Programming by J.B. Tanzik and William. Next, in 1950, we have Mathematical Programming and a lin on Linear and Stochastic Processes by A. Charnge, W. W. Copper, and others. In 1951, we have commercial digital computers in a large scale compu computation available by Sperry Univet. In 1960, we have organizational behavior, continued study of people at work by Al Cumming and Al Porter. In 1970, we have integrating operations into overall strategy and policy computer applications to manufacturing and scheduling and control and material requirement planning 
by W. Skinner, J. Orlke, and J. Wright. And lastly, 1918, we have the quality productivity application from Japan, and that's Robotics and CADCOM by W.E. Deming and J. Duran. And then let's move on to the product concept. Production functions is the part of an organization which is concerned with the transformation of range and in inputs into required outputs. Having the requisite quality level, and that is production, that is defined define as step-by-step -step conversion of one form of material into another form, the chemical or mechanical process to create, enhance the utility of the product to the user. So production is a value of addition process. At each stage of processing, there will be a value addition. Edward Bufa defines production as a process by which goods and services are created. So we have examples of production like manufacturing custom-made products like boilers with a specific capacity. We have constructing flats and <clears throat> some such structural fabrication works for selected customers and manufacturing, manufacturing standardized products like cars, buses, motorcycles, radio, television, and many more. And thank you so much for listening. Concept of operation. The term operation management, it refers to the process of planning, um, coordinating, and controlling the resources and activities involved in delivery of goods and services. It can be also applied both um, business and government. Next is the difference between the manufacturing operation and service operation. So first, the manufacturing operation is tangible while in service operation is intangible. Manufacturing operation, tangible items are produced that, that they may be customized, but generally they are standardized and often mass produced. Well, in service operation is intangible and customized or made suit to the individual um, requirements. Next is the consumption of output. In manufacturing operation, the consumption of output can be um, consumed over time, while in service operation is immediately. So next, the nature of work. The nature of work in manufacturing Manufacturing operation is capital intensive, while the service is labor in incentives. Intensive. Next is the degree of customer contact. And manufacturing operation, less customer contact, while in service operation is frequent. Next, the customer participation and conversation. And manufacturing uh, operation is less customer participation, while the service operation is high participation of um, customer. When it comes to manufacturing goods, the majority of the clients have little or no um, interaction with the manufacturing process. However, in service operation, the customer is input and active participation. Next, the measurement of performance. In manufacturing operation, a sophisticated method used to measure, while in service operation is simple. Next is the uh, elements of production management and operation management. First, planning. It is the it is the development, development of plans and strategy that will allow the business to effectively seize opportunity and meet challenge head on. It also linking strategy, business goals to tactical um, objectives, which are intermediate steps taking to achieve the goals. Next, the organizing. Organizing is way to ensure the operation rightfully. It, it, it is necessary and essential for the process of implementation of, of the plan. It makes the thing easy and go clear to do. 
if or will organize, then the direction of the operation will be smooth and the goal will be easy and achievable. Next, controlling. To ensure the business objective and the plan made to achieve them are made, controlling is the process of measuring and correcting performance. The nature of uh, operating system and its goal determine how much they interact. Next is the behavior. When faced with a complicated decision challenge, behavioral op operation management, also known as behavioral operation, investigate and consider human action and emotion. It is concerned by the, with the behavioral aspect of operation research and operation management. So next is the model. So the model describes activities such as processes, recipe, and information flows. Um, the production model is also used to explain the, the goods that can be uh, manufactured, as well as the resources such as equipment and materials that production face the and production procedure that are necessary to manufacture them. So that's all. Good afternoon. My name is Donna and I am going to report the objective of operation management and scope of production and operation management. The objective of operation management can be categorized into customer service and resource utilization. The first objective of operating system is the customer service. To the satisfaction of customer wants, the operating system must provide something to specification, can satisfy the customer in terms of costs and timing. Thus, the primary objective can be satisfied by providing the right thing at the right price and at the right time. The twin objective of operation management is the customer service objective. And the resource utilization, their customer service objective is to provide agreed adequate levels of customer service. Hence, customer satisfaction by providing goods or services with the right specification at the right cost at the right time. For the resource utilization's objective is to achieve adequate levels of resource utilization or productivity. Example, to achieve agreed levels of utilization of materials, machines, and labor. Again, customer service is for the customer satisfaction and for the resource utilization is the productivity. And that is for the objective of oper operation management. So let's go proceed to scope of production and operation management. The production and operation management concerned with the conversion of inputs into outputs using a physical resources to, de provi to provide the desired utilities to the customer while meeting the other organization objectives of effectiveness, efficiency, and adaptability. It distinguishes itself from the other functions such as personal, marketing, finance, and etc. by its primary concern for the conversion by using physical resources. Um, the things that I'm going to mention are listed under the production and operation management function. For the first function is the lo location of facilities. Location of facilities for operation is a long-term capacity decision, which, in which involves a long-term commitment about geographically statistic factors that affects a business organization. The second function is the layout and material handling. The um, layout and the layout and material handling 
refers to the physical arrangement of facilities. The overall objective of the plant layout is to design physical arrangement that meets the required output, quality, and quantity most economically. And according to James Moore, the plant layout is a plan of optimum arrangement of facilities, including personal operating equipment storage space, material, story material handling equipments, and all other supporting services along, along with the design of best structure to contain all these facilities. The third function is the product design. Product design deals with conversion of ideas into reality. Ideas into reality. The fourth function is the process design. This decision encompasses the selection of process, choice of technology and process flow analysis, and layout of the facility. The fifth um, a function is the production and planning control. The process of planning and production in advanced setting, the exact route of each item, fixing, starting, and finishing dates of each item to give a production orders to shops and to follow up the progress of products according to orders. The sixth function is the quality control. Quality control, it is a systematic control of virus factors that affects the quality of product. It affects the quality of product. Quality control aims to prevent, I aims at prevention of defects at the source, relies on effective feedback system and corrective action procedure quality control again it aims at prevention of defects thus and also the objective of quality control is to improve the company's income by making the production more acceptable to the customers an example by providing the long life greater greater usefulness and maintainability for the seventh function, it is the material management is a primary concern with acquisition control and use of materials needed and flow of goods and services connected with the production process. And the last function is the maintenance management. The maintenance management in modern industry, equipment, and machinery are very important. Part of the total productive effort, it is very important that the plant machinery should be properly maintained. And that is for my report. Thank you. Good afternoon. Once again, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, ma'am. I am Sean Carlo Viacchino, and I am the last presenter of Group 1. So for today, my topic is all about the... My topic is all about nature and scope of operation management. So the term operation management, it refers to the management of a company's operation and functions. It entails the tasks and abilities required to plan, organize and direct the day's activities to accomplish the goal. In most cases, the manufacturing process is more closely, more closely associated with operation management. So when we say operation management, they are the one um, they are the one they are the one na operate, they are the one na um Behind operation management, di ba kay mga tao man? So, they are the one to plan, they are the one to organize, and sila tong, um, sila tong panang nag-think of the vision, di ba? nag sila vision or goals sa isa ko company. So, when we say manufacturing process naman, we all know what is manufacturing, right? When we say manuf manufacturing process, it is 
um, the turning of raw materials or parts into finished goods, right? Through the use of tools, human behavior, human labor, I'm sorry, machinery and chemical processing. So we all know that manufacturing is integral to the, to the economy. Because um, most products were handmade using human labor and basic tools before the industrial revolution, right? Diba? So um, operation, um, operation management and um, manufacturing process is a very close game as sila. So um, they are associated with each other. Can I compatible? Oops. Next is the term production management. It is refers to a system in which tangible commodities are produced. For example, um, for example, are produced or created. So, for example, banks, airlines, utilities and other services or service organizations will be covered under the term operation management. Um, super bazaars, educational institutions, libraries, and pollution control agencies is addition to manufacturing. So there is a consulting firm in the police department. So matong ano, mga examples uh, production and manufacturing Ano na example ang banks? Di ba yung manufactured pa man nilang before they publish the money, they need to they need to plan and organize it. They need to um they need to train the raw o sige na ano sa money. Basta need pa na nila yung process, di ba, para may kwarta. So ang airlines as well as airlines, kato mga tickets, my utilities, my government utilities, and other services. So it's all um, taugani, part of production management. So the term difference refers to the subject progression. Because nowadays, we all know that operation management is being used, right? So beginning with the selection of location, Production management includes land acquisition, building, acquiring, and installing machinery, as well as purchasing, sorting, and transforming raw materials into sellable products. So, mong ito kung ginagin ganina, guys. Um, before sila maka, ni, before the company na makasell or makabaligya ato na product na ilang gusto or ato na goal na ilang gusto ibaligya they need to find a location para sa ilang company they need um they need to include katong mga building acquiring mga installing machinery kailangan na nila una una on di ba then para maka sort sila og kanang unsa na pag transform our raw materials into sellable products so um, Next is, we have um, the six historical developments. It is the evolution of production function. We have the industrial revolution, the scientific management, the human relation movement. We have operation research, computers in advanced production technology. And last but not the least, we have the service revolution. So when we say industrial revolution, it is the transformation or the transition from an agrarian and handicraft economy to one dominated by industry and machine history. So this technological advancement revolutionized civilization by introducing new methods of working and living. So Pagkano ni industrial revolution guys ang kinabuhi sa tao before is kanamrag is living nila gani ang kinabuhi nila mag mag kanam mag work gani before sa yung ani na field is kaning mag isi na kayo so in the 18th century this practice began in the United Kingdom and then extended to other regions of the world so Diba? Ang kanyang industrial revolution nag-start ni siya sa United Kingdom during 18th century and then since nahimot naman siya um, na mas nailan naman siya so nag, 
nag ano siya nag na ang kanisya na process all around the world so the praise industrial revolution was created take note guys take note guys ha industrial revolution was coined by english economic historian arnold tony b kasi ito si arnold tony b he is an english economic um historian on 19 ay on 1852 to 1883 so even though it had been used by french writers before so kinsa to siya again si arnold tony b so when we see scientific management naman it is a management philosophy that studies work of process in order to improve economic efficiency particularly labor productivity it um it is known as scientific management so ang kaning ang kaning scientific management um where siya og lang terms sa uh, lang terms sa uh, labor labor productivity and then si Frederick Frederick Winslow Taylor's ang um, ang um, unin nagmanage ani na Curie or he was popular in the manufacturing industry of the United States in in the 1880s to 1890s so kinsa to siya again take note Frederick Winslow Taylor okay next we have human relation movement when we say human relation movement according to Jose Toda, the president of um, the president of the second Sokai Go, Soka Gakai uh, coined the term human revolution to characterize the process of inner transformation that occurs as a result of Buddhist practice. So, see Jose Toda siya ang president sa second Soka Gakai and then siya ang nagpangalan aning or siya ang nagbutang aning term na human revolution it is to um it is to know or to characterize the process of our inner transformation diba as a human resource management we have kaning we have tawag ni inner transformation kumbaga we have to acknowledge and focuses on the development of inner potential diba for enlighten or for us to have enlighten or mga true possibilities for human change so mao to sha next is we have the operation research operation research um the management of organizations or operation and oper- operation research or or Mauni siya to, mauni ang analytical method of problem, 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 sorry, solving and decision making that is useful. So, problems are broken down into simple components in operational research and then they mathematically analysis and use to answer them in predetermined steps. So, kanyang operation research, kanyang mauni ni siya ang kanyang ilahang way to know, um, to know na ang sound pag pag tawag gani kaning tawag gani i forgot the way basta mo ni lang way to to solve a problem before i up until now na man they solve a problem up until now so And then a problem that has to be fixed is being identified. So moto siya sa operation research no. If ang problem daw na kailangan i-fix dapat i-identify sa so, isang company. So like creating a model of problems that is realistic in terms of the factors involved. So using a model uh, using a model to come up with the solution to the issue. So kaning If ang isa ko company na ay, na ay problem, they, they need to operate a research, di ba? Para mag, mag-plan sila or i-search na kung saan nila pag-handle to na problem. So, next, we have the computers and advanced production technology. So, when we say 
when we say computer is an advanced production technology, first it is represent a computer control or microelectronics based equipment. Since we are living now in the 21st century, um, isi na lang juga yung atwata na no, ay na natin mga robots, na natin mga computer na automatic, like we have um, kaning microelectronic based design or manufacture or handling of a product. Akana, ang example ani is the CNC machine or industrial industrial robot. So kana mga robot ba? Diba? Since we are living again in 2021st, we are so high-tech na. So second, the te- um, technology helps us perform in easy and fast way or operation and manufacturing process. So the companies meet the requirements of quantity and quality, right? Bitaw, tinood bitaw na siya ka ng... Na ubang company na they use robot or they use um, machinery na kanil automatic na ganip for them to have easy life sa mga workers nila kanang dali na lang kayo ma mahuman di ba na anin mag dominated dominated na makita no like sa Japan sila ila dito kay dali na kayo mahuman for example kanang mga daot nila na dere sa Pilipinas if nati daot na kalsada It takes years. For sa Japan, it takes one hour or 30 minutes, I guess, to fix that. So, yung ano sila kadali, no? By using a computer, ha? Kay, syempre, high-tech naman ito yung Dali rin siya kayo ma... Dali rin ma... Ano, dali rin kayo ma... Ma-solve ang ilang problem. So, last but not least, we have the service revolution. When we say service revolution, everyone, it is the rapid economic growth. So, job creation, gender equality, and poverty reduction or spearheaded by services is now achievable. According to India's and other South Asian countries, um, the search condition, guys, um, growth experiences. So, when you think, when you think, when we think about it, what do you mean when you say service revolution? Diba? Is it possible for late commerce to development um, to develop to benefit from the globalization of services? Uh, can, serve, can services be a driver of sustained, uh, sustained growth of job creation and poverty? Diba? So, can a service revolution, it is like it is like an ang pag Pagpaspas gani o growth sa tong economy, just like sa India, when we, when we tawag gani, if at one itapad ang India and China as a mas ano o economy, di ba ang China kasi kaning, I had like, I had sila sa tong ano, kay Murag, isa po sila sa pinaka powerful na country, and then ang India, they serve as the service revolution. I mean, um, sorry, na wala ko. Basa mura mo na niya tung tatung time na pagi compare ni Manduha, maano ju ni mo ang kanang pagpaspas gani sa growth sa lang economy. So next we have the manufacturing system and layout. So Devoted to the transformation of raw materials into marketable goods, employs series of value-adding process to convert raw materials into more useful forms and eventually, eventually into finished products. So, um, layouts, configuring the plant site with line, building major facilities, work area, aisles, and other pertinent features such department boundaries. So, Um, mauni siya ang mga this is how you transform a raw materials into marketable goods kanang daya na na to ang um, mahibalan kung saan pag manufacture sa isa ka system kung saan nila pag lay out so we have the process layout process layout are found from primarily in job shops or firm that produce 
customized so na yun siya makita na to ni siya po process na kaya po process ba like if you bought a gift or nagbuy ka gift tapos gusto niyo siya iparap iba i process man nila mag money mo siya ng example so process uh, sorry process layout and then We have um, the four factors of production. We have the land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. So when we say land, it is over all natural resources. Na nadiri atanan. Na nishis sa to environmental science before, di ba? Land ke over all natural resources. Labor kita tao, human capital, and technology. So when we say labor, Monica, tomorrow na go work, right? If I'm not mistaken, you can correct me if I'm wrong. When we say labor, Monica, sila to mga kita tao, then mga technology na naga work. So we have capital. Capital um belongs sa capital ang um, wages, a fund. Equipment, payment of interest, present value of inv- investment and owners' return. So, they have na bilo ang mga wages, mga fund, um, equipment, payment, tanan. Dara na siya na bilo basta sa capital then We have entrepreneurship, last but not the least. It is the ownership capital, profit, orga, um, organizer, inventor, innovator, Uh, older as to create new, willing to risk. Mauli sila itong mga tao na mga entrepreneur na willing to risk. They are willing to innovate. Willing to kanang extract a value. ba? Diba? Like, as an entrepreneurship, they viewed as change generally entailing risk beyond what is normally encountered in starting a business. So, Monisha, for, um, for fuck, factors of production. Sorry sa mga mali-mali na pagbasa. And that's all. Thank you.